Hello friends, uh, reasoning questions are being asked now in the first year MBBS exams. So let's see one such question and uh, figure out what's the explanation. Uh, but before that, have you subscribed to the channel yet? No? Go ahead and do it now. Okay, so um, the question is, in vitamin B12 deficiency, why there is sensory ataxia? So there are two parts of it. What is the fallout of vitamin B12 deficiency? That's one part. And uh, the other part is what is sensory ataxia? And then uh, we can reason it out. So ataxia means loss of coordination. Uh, coordination is the function of cerebellum. And uh, the cerebellum has to receive inputs from the muscles. And that input is called as proprioceptive input, which is a sensory input. And therefore, sensory ataxia means loss of proprioceptive input, which is a sensory input coming from the muscles and going to the cerebellum and also to the sensory cortex. So, uh, just, uh, just to add, proprioception is of two types, conscious proprioception and unconscious or subconscious proprioception. Uh, the joint position sense, which is the proprioception, and it's a sensory input starting from the muscles coming to spinal cord and then it ascends upward. It goes to the cerebellum, which is the unconscious proprioception and it goes to the sensory cortex, which is the conscious proprioception. Now this, uh, these two tracts, if you notice, conscious proprioception is carried by the dorsal white columns, dorsal column medial lemniscal system. And unconscious proprioception, which is going to the cerebellum, uh, is carried uh, mainly by dorsal spinocerebellar tracts. So, uh, the common thing is both are ascending uh, via the spinal cord, but to be more precise, from the dorsal aspect of the spinal cord. Dorsal spinocerebellar tract carries unconscious proprioception, uh, particularly from lower parts of the body, but nevertheless, it's the dorsal spinocerebellar tracts. So, uh, you can see here anterior, lateral and posterior or dorsal white columns. This is the area uh, from where the fibers ascend upward, whether it's dorsal white columns or dorsal spinocerebellar tract. All right. Now, let's come to the vitamin B12 deficiency. Uh, it results in subacute combined degeneration of the spinal cord. Why is it so? It's because vitamin B12 is required for DNA synthesis and nuclear maturation. Uh, particularly in this context, it will be for myelin forming cells, the Schwann cells for the peripheral nerves and uh, oligodendrocytes for the uh, central nerves. So, uh, myelin formation will be deficient in the case of vitamin B12 deficiency or rather there would be myelin degeneration in the case of vitamin B12 deficiency resulting in neuronal degeneration. Now coming to the next part, uh, B12 deficiency results in subacute combined degeneration of the spinal cord. So what's that combined? Meaning degeneration of the lateral and posterior white columns, posterior or dorsal white columns. So, uh, and in addition to that, also uh, neuronal degeneration in the brain and of also of the peripheral nerves possibly. But the point that we are highlighting here is that uh, dorsal and lateral, these two white columns are uh, degenerated in the vitamin B12 deficiency and the proprioception, whether conscious or unconscious, is carried from the dorsal part of the spinal cord. So, if this part is degenerated, uh, dorsal as well as lateral, but we are again focusing on the dorsal aspect. If this part is degenerated, the neurons are degenerated here, that means the input from the muscle which is coming to the spinal cord, but it will not ascend upward and will not reach the cortex or cerebellum. So, 
it will result in the loss of coordination. Cerebellum will not be able to perform any coordination because it is not receiving any inputs uh, from the muscle, contracting muscle. This will result in the ataxia and it is called as sensory ataxia simply because it was the loss of sensory information, loss of proprioceptive information which is sensory information and this is the reason why uh, in B12 deficiency there is uh, sensory ataxia. We discuss many more such uh, uh, MCQs or reasoning questions, clinical cases regularly on our channel. So, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now.